If I had to force myself to choose one addiction in life, I would take gaming over anything else. As far as addictions go, it's better than doom scrolling, Netflix, weed, or even alcohol, because none of those things require focus, attention, and even skill. But playing extremely hard video games does. But we can't ignore that any addiction is a mechanistic need to escape discomfort. Which is why just telling people to stop their addiction won't help. It needs to be replaced with something that will solve that underlying discomfort and provide fulfillment instead. The funny thing is that game designers really take advantage of this by making the players of their games be as productive as possible. They help them learn, channel their focus, and they help them improve in their gameplay bit by bit. And the way that they do this is by applying every single hack that you've ever learnt in a productivity book and building it into a framework. This is why being a gamer can be your greatest weakness, but if you understand and apply the philosophy of game design, it will become your greatest advantage. You need to realise that every game character that you started off with, their life was pretty fucked too. Obviously real life is nothing like video games, but they do have a great contrast. Life is the only game where you have to play an active role as both the player and the designer. And if you have experience improving characters in a the game, then you have the potential to do it in real life too. But don't let me sell you some dream bullshit because it's going to be harder and we're going to have to think deeper than just taking these game design techniques and just forcing them into life without any thought. The way that game designers streamline the player's addiction is by perfecting what they call the gameplay loop. The steps and the experience of improving a character and getting from the start of the story to the end of the story. To keep with that theme we're going to speed run this explanation. Alright, so in real life it looks like this. All you need to do is press X, triangle, circle, square, and then keep on pressing triangle, circle, square, triangle, circle, square, until you get a bit lost, and if you do get lost, then you press X again, and continue that pattern of triangle, circle, square. <laughs> No, I didn't just waste five minutes of your life. That combo of symbols represents the gameplay loop of designing a fulfilling life that I've built into an app called Life Game Design. And that is the gameplay loop that I'll be teaching you about in this video. Let's make this so much more practical. This diagram shows the gameplay loop of designing a fulfilling life that I've built into a seamless framework. At the top here we start with Envision. This is about creating a vision board of all the things that you could possibly aspire to do in your life. I'll show you what it looks like in my app. So over here we have a vision board with eight different categories and these are the eight areas of life that I call Octacore that we need to understand in order to find fulfillment. Like a game, Octacore works like an attribute system that will tell you where your life is going in and what direction you're pursuing these different areas of life and how much focus you have in all of them. If you've seen anything on self-development, you're going to recognize some key areas that you should pay attention to, like your physical health over here in strength, your mental health over here in life force, your relationships over here in attachment, and your contribution, which is going to be your work. But what the system does is that it goes beyond because there's so many more areas of our life that we can find fulfillment in that are just as important that other productivity systems just literally ignore. Over here we have persistence, which is about the maintenance of life and environment design, experience which is anything you do for leisure, creativity which is any creative outlet that you have, and finally intelligence which is about learning, finance, and planning. In your head there's probably a vision of the person that you would want to be and the things that you want to accomplish, but if you keep it all in your head it's like trying to edit an essay in your head instead of typing it out in a word document and editing it from the bird's eye view of that perspective. The main purpose of this vision board is to get all of those ideas in your head and find the theme between all of these things that you want to do. Another important part of this exercise is figuring out what it's going to tell you about what you should be doing right now in this moment. Remember we're speed running this gameplay loop so I'm not going to get in the nitty gritty of all the details and all the workflows that will help you figure out what your vision is. But doing this will give you a key indicator into the things that are really going to fulfill you and for me in this chapter of my life it's making this app called Life Game Design and turning this from something that I've done creatively for myself into a contribution that can help other people. And that's where we get on to the second stage of the gameplay loop which is design. Now that I know that I have this goal that I want to do, that I want to create an app that will help people, now I'm literally going to have to design the mission and the steps of that mission to get that done, in combination with getting all the other things in my life done as well. At the moment this app is completely free because it's still in its alpha stages, but it will get released as a paid product so if you want to get it while it's still free and get early access to all of these features, you can download it in the description below. So in the app this is a design page and it helps you design your day, your week, your month, your season and so on. 
And the way that we do that is by managing our projects and our tasks, which are essentially the missions and the steps to complete those missions. So taking it as simple as a day at a time, we have this page that will help you design a fulfilling day. The first step that you would do is actually take a second to rewind. Think about how game designers show you all of the achievements that you've already done through a trophy system or through even the things that you actively wear, like your weapons and armor. You know how much effort you put into grinding for those things and you get the visual feedback from that all the time. Now, we can't wear armor and shit like that in real life because that's just cringe, but we can show ourselves the evidence of all the things that we've done. So over here, you get to see all the the things that you've recently done in terms of tasks and projects. And by utilizing the octocore system, I can see what different areas of life that I've been focusing on recently. The next stage is to align and we're going to use the octocore framework to help us realize what is the true purpose of today. Is it strength, doing exercise training and recovering? Is it persistence, doing life admin, cleaning and organizing things? Is it experience, taking a break with hobbies and socializing? Or creativity, creating something meaningful? Contribution, making progress at work? Intelligence, learning, planning or managing finances? Attachment, spending time with the people I love? Or is it life force, self-care, reflection and or spiritual connection? Day to day, your focus in these different areas are going to vary depending on things like social obligations or work or whatever. But in the long term, you want to know that these things are aligning with that vision that you set yourself. The next part of the gameplay loop is going to help us figure out what that will be. But speed running on, let's go to the actual design of the day. So we can use our projects and tasks to figure out what we're going to actually do today. If I open up my projects over here, I can see my overdue things, but I can also see everything that I currently have that is active. And you can tell there's a lot of things here because I literally dump all the things in my mind that I have to and want to do in my life. And I just put it here so I don't have to ruminate about it constantly and try to manage it in my head. I let this system do the work, just like you use the systems in games. So from here, because the dates have been set for this day, all I wanted to do for today was go for a surf in the morning with my dad, make this video and do meal prep. In the last step of the gameplay loop, you'll understand why this day is achieved and why logging these things are so important. At the end here, you can preview what your day will look like in terms of all the projects you have and all the tasks that you have. And hopefully you're going to sprinkle in some things that truly fulfill you. And this process is the same with designing your week, your month, your season, and even your whole year. Now that we have a rough design of what we think we want our lives to be like, now we have to choose and focus on which attribute of life that we're really going to dial in on to get what we want out of this season of our lives. Over here in the focus page, we're going to use those same octocore attributes to determine which of these areas of life needs my absolute focus. You'll be able to see them all over here, see the descriptions of what they are, and set them from being active to in focus, which will appear in this window right here. The reason why this is so important is because I don't know you, and literally every YouTuber that you follow, even though they're trying to give you advice that lacks the context of your life that you know everything about. So instead of me trying to sculpt the perfect advice for the perfect person that I could imagine in my head, I created a framework for you to figure out that for yourself. Because knowing what advice that you need for the season of your life is going to be the number one skill that you need to navigate this age of information where there are so many different things that you could be learning right now, but you have no idea what things are actually going to apply and help you get ahead in the specific area of life that you actually need it in. If you want to learn more about how to use the Octocore framework to understand, organize, and optimize every area of your life, you can watch this video here. But let's carry on with the speed run. The focus areas for this season of my life at the moment are creativity and strength. Creativity being me building this app and strength being healing a shoulder injury that I've received and it's almost done. Once you figure out what those focus areas are, you're going to want to design your days, weeks, and months around those focus areas as your top priority and then you want to factor in any obligations that you have. Now you're going to have to realize that one of your focus areas might be something that is currently an obligation, like getting a promotion at work, dealing with something within your family or whatever. An important important thing to know about your focus areas is it's not always going to be something that you want to do but something that you need to do. By utilizing this framework it's going to help you accept that reality. And through doing this, the more we focus, the more we achieve and the more achievements that we rack up. And that's where we get into the last section of this gameplay loop. So the last section you can see here is reflect. And this is about reflecting on all the achievements that we've made in all these different areas of life and what that says about us and how we feel about that current state of our life. And if we want to improve it and change it, or if we think that we're doing good and we want to keep it the same. So let me show you what that looks like in the app. Over here, we have the Reflection Minigames page, and we can reflect on our day, our week, our month, our season, and our year. For since today is the last day of April, let's go through a month reflection. So I'm going to select April, and again, using the philosophy of game design, I've built it into a streamlined step-by-step -step process for you to follow. 
Over here, you have review, which helps you go through your projects, tasks, and notes to organize them and get you ready to reflect on them. And over here, we have reflect, which helps you reflect in three different ways. It helps you figure out what your highlights were by actually going through and ranking your achievements in a tier list over here. The achievements tier list is a subjective system where you just rank everything from bronze, silver, gold, and diamond. Every achievement starts at bronze and it's up to you to rank them higher based on how fulfilling those things were to you. And at the end of this, basically what you get is from every year you can see the most fulfilling things that you've ever done within that year within that month within that week and even within your day it's like when you find a really fulfilling play style to play within a game and you just keep on doing it and keep on doing it because it's so enjoyable for you you need to do a whole lot of prep to get it ready you need to do a whole lot of research to know how to do it optimally but once you found that thing you will work so hard to do more and more of it and that's exactly the whole reason why we want to rank our achievements and reflect on them at the same time and see for me in the month of april the most fulfilling things were actually mostly to do with experience you know the fallout tv series came up and i went to this amazing event from diary of a ceo stephen bartlett who had an event in auckland which i thought he would never come to and it was just the most amazing thing to ever go to in the gold tier i have my work on the app doing one of the mini game sections and doing this video that i was really proud of going to do a book review with one of my friends and a whole bunch of hangouts with some friends that i haven't seen in a very long time in the next section here, this is where it gets really important because we use those focus areas that we talked about before and then we literally get to see the evidence of how our focus is being distributed amongst all of these different activities. So if I scroll down, you can see that these things start to drop off. And the more achievements that I've logged in this section, it means the more that I've done in this section generally. But the whole point of this reflection isn't only to give yourself the credit for all the th amazing things that you've done in your life, but also to help you understand what you're going to do to improve the design of the next season of your life. There are some journaling prompts here that you can see in alignment with all of these different achievements that you've made. And it will ask you things like, what held me back from doing what I intended? What can I do to improve? And importantly, if I don't improve, what will happen? And if I do improve, what can I achieve? And then at the end here, you complete the reflection and by completing the reflection, you literally add it as an achievement. Then over here, you get to see all these different views of all the things that you've done. So over here in months, this is a chronological list of every achievement that you've made. Over here in board, it's the octocore framework. So you can scroll down and see the distribution of everything you've done. You can also see it in a gallery style where it show you each section individually like this. And then you have a tier list system, which is again is that tier list that will show you the highlights of everything that you've done within your whole month. And the system was identical for days, weeks, months, seasons, and even years. So that is the gameplay loop of how to design a fulfilling life. Let me know if you want me to make a full guide deep diving on each of these different things. I'm thinking of making a mini series where I deep dive on each of these specific mini games and help you understand how it helps you design a life that's fulfilling and go through that gameplay loop. Hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about how you can use game design philosophy to create a fulfilling life. I hope I see you again.